Hey there. Coming on. We're getting there, ain't we? Fill your belly.
If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. Better treatment than this. Okay, Chief. Remind me when I joined the social club. My boys are coming for me. Mark my words. You best be over careful. I've got ways to quiet right at prison. Anthony Foreman, check that saloon in the slum for him. He might have a bounty on his head, but you'd hardly know it. Cares on about his business in the less salubrious parts of town, knowing the law won't dare to come looking. <laughs> Is it that you can't go into the slums to get foreman, or you won't? That's a mighty forward line of inquiry. The slum dwellers can't be helped, sir, so we're not going to try. As a matter of fact, I heard about this fella years ago. What more can you tell me of him, then? He's a panderer, a thief, a cheat, a braggart. Somewhat of a hero to a few mistaken fools. Simply put, the man is just bad for society. Society? Well, it's what you make it. What the? <laughs> hey, you, what you looking for? Hey, could you help me find an Anthony Foreman? Anthony Foreman? Nice. Yeah. Goddamn bad. I don't recollect that name. I'd try the other one. Hey, where you going? Shit! Your pal just tripped me, but I'm still coming! wants to see you. Glad you got me. I thought you were welcome. Hey, I think you knew a friend of mine, Tilly Jackson. Tilly Jackson? I ain't heard that name in a time. Hey, you're not the... 
No. He was bigger. Look, if you're with that other friend of hers, I promised to stay away. And I did. Don't bring me in because of Tilly Jackson. <laughs> Things is long settled between us. But I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. I wouldn't have had to hide out in no slum, avoiding no bounty. When he got killed and we lost them other boys at Radley's house, that's when things went sour. The foreman's ain't been quite so much since then. I'm guessing you ain't on this side of town much. I wouldn't kiss on these people if they were burning. Anthony Foreman. He ain't society's problem no more. He's yours. Well. Good to meet you finally, sir. I hope you find our accommodation suitable. Sales back there. After taking that trip through the slums. Actually, I like the slums, but I'm gonna need a hot bath after coming in here. That's it. Now you can go. Well, police department is being modernized. We're gonna try and arrest our own criminals, so don't expect any more bounties here for a while.
job, lady. Hungry <laughs> girl. My girl. You got this, girl. Easy now.
Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Hey, partner, you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure, I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's... He's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Fine morning to you. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. Folks, turns they love out. a surprise, <laughs> but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. 
Throw him fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Don't black out just yet. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Come on, Simon! Hit him, Charles! What is this? Hit him, Lone Wolf! Pretend he's Micah! Knock him out! Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Don't black out just yet! Pretend he's Micah! Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Yeah, yeah. My bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him, or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. 
You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or uh, since yeah. before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Yeah. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Mm. It never ends well. Gangs like ours don't ride off into the sunset. Not these days. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> You couldn't have thrown that right! Ah, one fight! Evidently! What are those guns they have? Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and me ain't short on police. Remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. 